What's up guys? Today we're checking out a 2012 Gibson Custom Shop Kirk Hammett Flying V. Um, these were 150 made. The first 50 were actually autographed by Kirk. Um, and the last 100 were just aged like this one here. So we'll be doing uh, some sounds with this guy and obviously we'll do some Metallica too considering but kick-ass guitar man really really impressed with the quality of this one it's really fucking beautiful so i got this guitar at chicago music exchange in illinois um i had traded in quite a few guitars to get it it was pretty expensive um it did come with a hard case it's a really nice case custom shop case um, when I did get it, it did not have the gaff tape on it that the custom shop put on it, so I'm sending it back to Gibson to have him put the gaff tape on that Kirk put on his guitar so it's legit again, instead of me doing it and not being um, Gibson correct. So this guitar is aged exactly like Kirk Hammett's, um, even down to the input jack that uh, he put the poker chip there because the input was going through the pick guard. Uh, the attention to detail on this guitar is amazing. Um, it, it plays unbelievable. Um, it's got shallower tuners, which stay in tune great. Rosewood fretboard, EMG 81 in the bridge, uh, EMG H in the neck. Um, it's got a replica of a uh, badass bridge on it, Leo Kwan. They did the closest they could because obviously they're out of production now, but the bridge is awesome too. Um, sustained for days on this guitar which is kind of nice uh, compared to like the Gibson Les Pauls and stuff um, again this is number 75 out of uh, the hundred so let's uh, hear some sounds with this thing
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, I got some more guitars in line to do some reviews. Um, I'm going to get into the Kemper and stuff like that, and then possibly do some videos on some home recording that uh, I figured out myself. If you guys have any questions that you want to know about the guitar or know want to know how much it costs, um, I could put that in the comments for you guys as well. It's a really great guitar. Um, it's basically like playing a 76V. I mean, the attention to detail and everything that Gibson Custom Shop did just amazes me. They did an, uh, an outstanding job on the guitar. It plays amazing, it sounds great. Uh, you know, you could put any pickups you want in it as well. It doesn't have to be the MGs. The neck pickup, I was uh, wondering what was going on with it. So, started doing a little research and I noticed that the Custom Shop put the 81 in the neck position and the EMG H in the bridge. So when I first got it, it sounded kind of thin, um, almost stratty like So when I did the research, I noticed that the H is basically like a single coil in a humbucker size. So I switched them. I think that Kirk has the 81 in the bridge, which that's normally how he runs his guitars, and put the H in the neck. And man, it just sounded amazing after I did that. So, you know, if you guys or any of you guys own one, let me know in the comments if uh, if your pickups are switched around backwards as well. So again, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys liked. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, like and subscribe. Keep on ripping.